Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and in this video today, I'm gonna be giving you guys potentially one of the best gun classes in Black Ops 2. Now, the gun class we are going to go with today is the light machine gun. Yes, that's right, the light machine gun. And the reason is, it's because many people in Black Ops 2 overlook the LMGs simply because of this bulky presence and uh, how how it makes you move like a giant turtle but despite all that crap they are super powerful in gunfights and if you're someone that likes to destroy the action from the distance this is definitely a class to try out so the gun we are going to go with today is the LSAT and the reason is because the gun is very versatile for its class and can almost take out enemies in an instance at any range. And again, I'm not really going to go into detail with the statistics of each gun, so with this LSAT I'm not going to go into detail simply because I believe that being technical is good only for knowledge for the game, but when it comes to actual gameplay it is far more important to have someone actually try out these gun classes and recommending them to you rather than a bunch of numbers on a piece of paper. Having said all that, the first attachment to improve the gun's aiming visual is to put on the reflex sight. This will greatly increase the aiming ability of the LSAT considering the iron sight is not the most user friendly. Also, having the reflex sight can greatly increase the precision of hitting enemy targets at longer range without having to zoom in too much where the peripherals are greatly blocked such as the target finder or the EOTech sight and even the dual scope. So therefore, the first attachments for the LSAT should definitely be the reflex sight. Now, since having just one attachment in Call of Duty these days is obviously not enough, we are definitely going to have to put on a second attachment, and the second attachment on this gun is Grip. Now, this attachment will greatly reduce the recoil by a lot, and uh, in conjunction with the red dot sight and your steady fingers, it will be a very dangerous weapon for enemies to come against, and um, especially if you're someone that really likes to kill enemies from medium to long distance range. So there's the gun class set up for the best LSAT class ever, I guess. But uh, before we wrap up this video, I'm going to give you guys a few tips to utilize this gun class setup to its best. And um, the first tip is to take advantage of the LSAT's large magazine. And uh, meaning that you won't have to worry about reloading when you see more than two enemies. So take your time if you see two enemies don't rush it because you have a lot of ammo in your gun you don't have to worry about you know trying to be so accurate you can spray it around a bit you know it's fine because you'll be able to kill the enemies since you have so much bullets so use the large magazine to its advantage the next tip is to give yourself some space in every game so while you still can maneuver around the map uh, you will be doing it at a pace slower than everyone else who's using an SMG or an assault rifle so take advantage of the long distance range of the weapon and I'll pick them off from a very long distance or medium distance or basically a bit further than you know being so close that you're hit firing because when you hit fire an LMG it is not very accurate at all so using the weapon to its advantage and uh, picking them off from a medium to long distance range is definitely recommended so there's the end of my LMG class or best class setup video. I hope you guys did find it useful and really do try this class out in multiplayer. And um, if you do, start pooning the noobs out there <laughs> and start getting a good KD ratio, a good win-loss ratio and just feel a lot better without having to rage too much. Anyways, if you guys did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more Black Ops 2 content, tips and tricks on Black Ops 2 and our best class setups, please subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, as for now, I'm out. Peace. For those of you that have missed my last video, my last video was basically some multiplayer tips for beginners on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I'll click on the video if you're interested, and uh, I hope this video helps. Thank you.